friends, happy Wisdom Wednesday. Thank you so much for tuning in and for choosing to spend some of your time with me. It's your girl, Maria Milagros here. And today, um, I'm going to talk about energy because I noticed that no matter where I go, when I do events or when I do talks or whatever, um, I get a lot of people who say, you have so much energy. You have a lot. Of, how do you have so much energy? Can you bottle that energy and share it? Do you drink Monsters? Do you drink Red Bull? How much soda do you drink? How much coffee do you drink? So I wanted to talk about this because um, I tried to talk about it a different way last year, but I didn't talk about it from the direction of energy, which everybody is apparently looking for more of and wishes that I could sell. <laughs> Here's the thing though, and this is not going to be a shocker. The best way to generate natural, healthy, sustainable energy is by eating healthy and working out. That's it. It's not shocking. It's a, <gasps> no, there's none of that, right? This is how we do it. I don't drink Monsters. I don't drink Red Bulls or Five Hours or I don't even drink coffee. What? <laughs> no, I'm not saying don't drink coffee if you drink coffee. I'm saying I don't drink coffee. Um, what I do is I eat really healthy. I drink green drinks first thing in the morning. I make sure that I have veggies with every meal. That's right, with every meal, including breakfast, I eat lean proteins, I have complex carbs instead of simple carbs, like I'll eat oatmeal and sweet potatoes and brown rice instead of cereal and white rice and, you know, things like that, and white bread. Um, I drink seven, I mean, I eat seven sprouted bread instead. So, and I eat lots of veggies and I eat fruits. And that's how I do it. And I move, and I move every single day because a body in motion stays in motion and your body both wants and requires movement, right? Our bodies are the sum total of 70 to 80%, depending on where you read your information, 70 to 80% what we eat and anywhere from 20 to 30% what we do. So those two things combined, eating being the most important of the two, helps us generate more energy. When I meet people who are naturally energetic, who have energy for days, who are like me in terms of energy, and we get to talking, it turns out they're really healthy eaters and they exercise frequently, you know, anywhere from three to five to seven times a day. And I'm not, I don't want to scare anybody in making you think that you have to go exercise seven times a day if you don't move at all. But what I am saying is you can move for 10 minutes. You, because we are either making time for the things that are important to us or we're making excuses. And as long as you're being real about where you stand in that divide, are you making time or are you making excuses? Because if I hear really one more person tell me how they're not working out because the sun sets at five, well, um, what about in the morning? <laughs> what about during the day? So what if the sun sets at five? You can't work out past night. You're going to turn into a werewolf. Like, no, you can still work out. And people say, oh, but it's so cold outside. You have a home. Listen, I start my workouts. I have a really small space, and that's where I work out. I do stair workouts. I do workouts in my house. I, you, I do teach dance, but I do the majority of my workouts right in a small space in my living room. If you go on YouTube and you type in small space home workout, you're going to get a couple hundred workouts. If you have a staircase... You type in at home staircase workout, you're going to get a couple of hundred workouts. If you only have seven minutes, seven minute workouts, you're going to get a couple of hundred workouts for real. And you keep trying a bunch of stuff until you figure out what you like and what works for you. As long as you're moving and you're doing that for yourself and you're not continuously making up excuses. In terms of food, my recommendation is that people start with small changes that are sustainable over a long period of time. And then once you hit about a month, you know, about 30 days, of repeating that same behavior, it becomes a habit, and then you can add on. Because if we try to like go on a strictly vegetable diet for 21 days, that ain't gonna work. That is not, that I have never had one person who successfully completed that because it's not real. They're in it like hardcore for four or five days, and then they're in McDonald's hardcore eating four or five burgers, right? And I'm not trying to be funny, but it's not sustainable. It's not real. So instead of having, you know, three scoops of white rice, have two and replace an extra, add an extra scoop of veggies to your plate. And if you eat veggies like broccoli and spinach and stuff, it helps 
fill you up because they're also fibrous and it keeps you full for longer. Do you need to have a snack after every meal? No. So you can cut back in that area as well. Don't drink as many sodas. Replace that with water because a lot of Americans consume the majority of their sugar in liquid form. So you can just cut back a lot of that sugar and a lot of that fat just by cutting back on how many um, sodas you're drinking. I would strongly urge you not to drink Monsters or Red Bulls because those are really unhealthy and if you're drinking those consistently, they're causing, they're literally causing damage to your organs and they're wreaking havoc on your adrenal glands and eventually it, it creates even mental instability. So, um, and I'm not a doctor. I just love to research and find out all this information. So if you don't believe me, go look it up for yourself. And if you're not looking it up because you're afraid of what that is, own that. Just own that. But then you also don't get to ask me if I can bottle up some of my energy. Because just like I generate energy through what I eat and what I do, so can you. So can you. Um, so I have a quick story for you. I once had to borrow a family member's Jaguar. And I went down to get gas and I was told to only get the premium, the best gas. And I had $20 and a lot of things to do. So I thought, that's not going to get me enough for the $20, the premium gas. So I'm going to get the cheap gas. This one time, nobody's going to know. So I put the cheap gas in, I start the car, and when I started it, it made this really weird sound. It was not happy. And then as I tried to drive out of the parking space of the gas station, the car started bucking, and it just kept bucking. I couldn't even get to the curb to get out on the street because the car was bucking. And I thought, this is a Jaguar. Like, what did I do? So I buck buck bucked my way into a parking spot at the store nearby and when I got into that parking space I called my uncle and he says Maria what happened and I said I'm at the gas station and he goes he cut me off you put the cheap gas in didn't you uh, what had happened was Maria no excuses he hung up on me and came down he ended up having to like pull the gas out and gave me the money to get the expensive gas and he said when you put cheap stuff into this vehicle you're gonna get cheap stuff out. If you don't put in good quality, you can't expect to get out good quality. And in that moment, what I heard was not about the car, it was about our human bodies. And I thought, if I had started treating my body like a Jaguar, or a Mercedes, or a BMW, or a Lamborghini, whatever your quality car is, if I started treating my body like the top quality vessel that it is, this vessel that I have been blessed with, this vessel that is going to get me to where I want to go, this vessel that is going to help me make impacts in people's lives, it's going to help me fulfill my calling, it's going to help me be better in my relationships. If I put the cheap stuff in, I'm going to get cheap stuff out. If I put junk in, I get junk out. If I put in high quality, I'm going to get out high quality. Oh, no lie. This was what happened in my head when this whole thing went down. And I remember writing it down right away because I thought, yes, we have to start treating our bodies like the top quality vessel that they are. Because if we're putting junk in, we're only going to get junk out. So if you find that you're groggy, you don't have the energy to go through your day-to-day -day life, you might want to look at what's on your plate and what's on your calendar in terms of making your times and blocking time for yourself to create movement and again it doesn't have to be this two hour workout it could start with 10 minutes because a body in motion stays in motion and your body wants it and requires it so my suggestion to help increase your energy is to eat right and get moving because when you do that hey super sparkly everything you already know because then you have all the energy you need to do all the work you're called to do and to impact all the lives that you're called to impact and not just to impact them, but to do it with passion and fullness, right? And to like leave your mark wherever you go. People remember that, right? So that's what I have for you. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you know someone who can benefit from this, share it. And if you have anything to add, put it in the comments below. I'll see you guys next week. Have a great rest of your week and a fantastic super sparkly weekend. Love ya. Bye.